All right, let's move on to the four spot. Four. Ooh. Who you got? I got Russell Wilson. Man, I was hoping somebody would say Russ. Bro, he's high up there. That's what, what I'm saying. About? I was getting you know, scared. I didn't nah, know. Nah, he's, he's high up there. That's oh. my guy. Yo, he's one of the best quarterbacks on the run. He's a proven winner. He's taking, taking his team to Super Bowls. Even when they have a bad offensive line, he's still finding his way out of the pocket to get the ball downfield. And I think adding Rashad Penny this year is going to do wonders for him. And like Tim mentioned, correct me on a couple episodes ago, the big uh, acquisition, Dwayne Brown. Mm-hmm. You know, full season of training camp and get him protecting the blind side. That's going to help him big time this year. And he's the the best quarterback on the move in the league. So I got Russ Wilson checking in at number four for me. Hell yeah. Nah, I, my bad. Do you have Russ too? Not, not at slot? four. So I'm just going to skip you real quick because I got okay. Russ too. I just wanted to to like piggyback on that. 134.1 fourth quarter career passing rating. He gets better as the game goes on. That's been that's been a thing. No offensive line his whole career. His best wide receiver in his, his entire career has been a slot receiver. So... Methodical scrambler, also. Yeah, dude knows the perfect time when to slide, when to turn it upfield. Doesn't take big hits. Takes I, penalties a lot. He has like draws a lot of penalties on the he, out of bounds. Well, because he's annoying. It's like, yo, it's always thirty-two, and I get the first down. Like I'm hitting this guy. Very Fuck patient, it. not afraid to to spin the wrong way. Yeah, I, and and just take it. Take methodical, yeah. methodical scrambler. So, yo, he's the he's the man. He's I, a magician. I love Russ. Yeah, so he's my number four guy. So who's on your four? Big Ben. Ooh, I don't. Uh, I don't agree with the things boss was saying before about Big Ben, but I think, look, he's made mad people stars, right? Mike Wallace left Pittsburgh. He right. hasn't been the same. Emmanuel Sanders, well, he had Peyton Manning, so it does help. But he's gotten people paid. He's gotten people to produce. Juju Smith came in last year and shocked the NFL. A lot of it had to do with, with Big Ben. Martavius. Uh, he does light up. I, I don't know about Martavius. I think it's a good thing that he's not there anymore. He's I'm just saying, like, he was, like, oh, he yeah, was yeah, nasty yeah. there. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, Antonio Great Brown we know, know about and all that. And, I mean, even the tight ends he utilizes, too. Heath Miller was, like, a he's like a god in Pittsburgh. Everyone loves him right. over there. You're naming players from five years ago. Jesse James. That was my point. Like, he was great five years ago but now i think he's just the product of his players around him I, if you I put named, big ben on any other team i named a b and juju they play now no? yeah now and just a b is the best wide too. receiver in the league yeah you put a b with sam darnold do, do you though perform. do you what how many put times have sam? we said that when big ben isn't in the lineup and you're playing a b on your fantasy team you're not as nervous but that doesn't take away you're from not who AB them. is, yeah. Yeah, I'm, i know you're not sitting them but you would much rather if you're going into week 16 championship I mean, sure. Well, yeah, a lot of it has to do with Big Ben. But Guys, let's not get crazy. I, but we're nah. not arguing is Big Ben better than Landry Jones. We're arguing is is he the, f- the what is it, fourth, third best quarterback in the league? Fourth, 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 fourth best quarterback in the league. Yeah, he is. Going into this year, I don't think so. What The guys you mentioned, though, Mike Wallace did have success afterwards. Emmanuel Sanders did have success afterwards. And Santonio Holmes did have success afterwards. Plaxico Burris did have success afterwards. All these guys have found success post Big Ben. And Big Ben, for all of his greatness, has only thrown over 30 touchdowns in a season twice. And look, that's, that's a lot of weapons that's around him. him. That's No, it's not. But it's a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, don't fantasy, yeah, I don't care yeah, for that. I don't care for He wins touchdowns. games. But, and he, but when you're talking about the difference, not is he good. You're talking about the difference between top five. And not top five. Listen, but also, all-time active, he's maybe three behind the top two right now. Like, if you look at all-time numbers. But going into 2018, that. I don't see him as a top four quarterback. What about his struggles on the road compared to at home? Does that not does that not concern you a little bit? And, and the fact that he started last year so damn poorly. So, like, on another level, ridiculous poorly. Yeah, he thought about retiring. Yeah. yeah and then he lit it up. Then he turned up after that comment. So... I don't know. For me, Listen, I will say though, I also saw shot. him. I also saw him just put his balls on the table for the Jacksonville defense to just he watch. Did, yeah. And that's the best defense that we've seen in a long time. And he lit him up. So that's true. Also, I will say Big Ben is one of the few quarterbacks in the league that, like, no matter what, you're like, yo, like you're confident in him. Without and like, a doubt. like you know what I mean. Like, and that is someone too who it's like we don't have to rely on the weapons really. Like Big Ben's a quarterback that me personally. I mean, maybe not this exact year, but even still, even this year, I'm just like, I'm. I don't care if AB's hurt. Like, he'll get the ball to somebody. Like, the dude can make the plays. Whether or not he's I, someone who could carry a team. Yeah. What you were talking about before. Whether or not I think he's a top five quarterback, he's definitely a franchise quarterback still because just kind of like in basketball, can you take the last shot? That means you're a franchise player. Can you bring a team back in the two minute drill in the fourth quarter? That's how you know you're a franchise quarterback. And Big Ben is one of the guys I'm putting Listen, in there every time. Yeah. Uh, 
did this shit my whole life. 